Hello. Today's lesson will be about character string manipulation. What are they for and how to use them? What's a character string? It's an array of chars. Remember day three's lesson about arrays? It's simply an array of type char. Let's declare our char array. We're creating a main, so the type is char. We need square brackets. That's an array semantics. Let's assign a value to our array hello. Basically, on the right, there's an exhaustive uh, representation of the memory. How is our char string stored? Simply have in box 0 H, uh, in box 1 the character E, and so on. Character strings have a particularity. They have an exclusive way of ending themselves by using the special, special character slash 0. Soon you'll see why it's so useful. Moving on from theory to some practice. Let's create the function function underscore put string. You've had to create this one in previous bootcamp days, so this is a gift. Let's pass it the string and add another function function underscore put char. so that we can have a line break at the end of the at the end out of our program. Let's start with the function put char function, which I'm sure you know by heart now. I'm sure you also know everything about write to. So we won't expand on, on that on write. Write uh, of one, which is the address of C, The heart of the matter function put string takes out char string as a parameter. What does a function underscore put string do? It iterates on each element in our table of chars in order to display them. How does it display? It calls function underscore put char, so we'll have a loop and a stopping condition. For each loop, a call to function underscore put char with our character string. To use a loop means we need an index. So let's initialize our index to zero. And we'll use our index in the loop in order to go through our string. Finally, we'll increment our index. We now need to figure out how to make it stop with the condition. How can we know where a string has ended? That's where the backslash zero comes in and saves our lives. We simply going to stop as soon as we come across the first slash zero. Let's try and launch our program. GCC test.c forward slash a dot out String displayed on the output. So is the dot. 
Now let's get started with character string manipulation. We've gone through our string. Now let's change a value within our string. Let's replace the first character by a Y. So let's create a new function replace underscore first underscore h underscore with underscore y. Nothing exceptional about this function. I'm sure it'll help you create much more useful functions for today's exercises. How do we get to our array's first box? STR close bracket, square bracket, zero, first box of our array equals y. Let's take a break to check out what happens in the memory. We're going to replace this age, so the first box of our array, by a y. And that's the intended output. So we're going to call our function Replace underscore first underscore h underscore width underscore y string 1, str1. And do some debugging just above to check if the replacement goes smoothly. GCC text dot c dot slash a dot out. Hello, yellow, perfect. Let's create one last function for this lesson. That'll take two strings as parameters. The first will be the source, the second will be the destination. And we're going to make a copy of the source's first character and add it to the destination. I'm going to start by declaring a second string. str2 squared brackets equals yellow. Let's remove the previous function. and create the function replace underscore first underscore char. Resetting my array. We have a second character string. We're going to copy the first character H from our string SRC into our second string DEST, D-E-S-T. First character equals SRC square bracket zero close square bracket. So DEST square bracket zero close square bracket equals SRC square bracket zero close square bracket. You just need to call our function replace underscore first underscore car char uh, brackets str1 comma space str2 close bracket and we'll display str1 then str2 gcc it out hello 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 let's add debug lines to see str2 before manipulation Hello, yellow, hello, hello. So we've manipulated our string. It doesn't have to be just the first box of our array. We could do the first, this for the second box or the third. It all depends on what you're trying to accomplish. I hope that this lesson about string manipulation will allow you to see clearer and will help you for today's exercises, which are mainly about loops and conditions. To be done when they are needed.
I hope this notion, which is quite simple and that will prove very useful today, was clear.